You'll need some purple and green embroidery thread of your choice, an embroidery hoop and a needle. I'll start by marking my design on the fabric like so. I do have a free template on my website, so feel free to use that instead. The link will be in the description below as well as in the top right corner. I'll start with the lavender blossoms, so I'll do a handful of French knots, arranging them randomly in a very longish oval shape. If you don't know how to do a French knot, you simply come up through the fabric, wrap the thread around the needle once, twice or even three times, depending on the size you're going for, and holding the thread tight with your fingers, go back down through the fabric next to where you came up, creating a knot. Repeat this as many times as necessary to create your lavender blossoms. I'm going to finish all the blossoms first before moving on to the stems. For the stem I'm going to use a stem stitch. You make a stitch about 7mm long and then come back up next to the middle of the previous stitch and repeat. You want to make sure that you always come up on the same side of each previous stitch, in my case on the right. Repeat this process for all of the stems. I also decided to add two more blossoms to make the bouquet a little bit fuller. Now for a last touch we'll add a bell to hold the bouquet together at the bottom. For the bow I'll take two bits of purple thread around 15 cm in length and tie them into a bow. I'll just snip the ends into different lengths for an artistic effect before attaching the bow to the design like so. And here is the finished embroidery design. It looks so cute on this tote bag and I look forward to wearing it a lot. If you're interested in how to make this tote bag, check out my previous video. And if you're looking for more cute embroidery designs, have a look at this collection of embroidered flowers I did a while back. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.